This video is brought to you by WatchReviewBlog.com and WatchPod, specialty watch accessories for enthusiasts. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for video updates. The Amida Digitrend, a watch or a block of steel, a little bit of both perhaps. Have a look into the slim crystal from the side and you'll see the jumping hour on the left with minutes on the right and a proper sized Amida logo in the center. Quite apparently, this is a purposefully built driver's watch, a watch that was originally made to accompany you in your race car on the track. I guess in theory you could simply use it cruising around the streets as well, even now in our modern times if you'd like. Realistically, this watch is an extreme version of a vintage reissue. Even most normal mechanical watches these days are antiquated due to technology but they're still fun to wear and enjoy in an indulging, luxurious way. The Amida here just takes it to the next level. Everything about it is slightly more cumbersome than even a regular round-cased analog watch with a round dial. But this watch will really make you feel like you've gone back in time, to a place like the mid-1970s. This isn't the most practical watch ever, that's for sure. To read the time while out and about or simply relaxing at home, you need to twist your wrist and make sure to focus quite closely. The small side display is not what it initially seems to be. It's a light reflecting display that works essentially the same way a pair of prism binoculars would work. It reflects the top of the movement where the dial is located and projects the image from the side. It's really neat in concept, but reading it is slightly more distorted than if it were a simple applied dial. The watch is operating with the Soprod Newton P092 automatic movement, which is actually viewable through a ration display window on the back. It looks cool, and the section of the movement that's visible is framed in a way to include it as part of the engraved art on the back. While we're on the subject of the case back, I will touch on the fact that it's completely flat, which is noticeable on wrist. Some kind of curvature would have helped in the comfort department, especially when considering there's no lugs on this watch. So what is this watch? It's a fun watch. It's not one watch collection material but could be fun in a multi-watch collection, and it certainly makes for a great conversation starter piece. The price point is slightly steep as well, coming in at 2,900 CHF, with most of the value coming from its unique heritage design, and less so for its raw specs. For more info, check out our full review on thewatchreviewblog.com. Cheers!